Right, another wrapped up video. So as you can see, I like to drink water when I remember because it's not always easy to remember certain things, okay? Um, forming habits of drinking water before you eat, in my opinion, helps digestion and is beneficial for digestion, all right? Now, if you do eat a lot of high water content fruits and things, you can get away with like slightly less water and some people apparently say that they just don't need to drink water at all because they get enough... Uh, like water from fruits, all right, high water content fruits, but you know, they're fucking woo-woo, aren't they? Possibly, I'm open to whatever, man, I'm not, I'm not having a go at anybody, but for me personally, uh, for me eating a lot of cooked food, um, dry food, uh, unnatural food, all right, um, then drinking a pint or two of water before that, every meal, all right, can help the digestion of that. It's, it's kind of weird, man, the wacky world of uh, um, health, fitness, and diets all right the healthy the healthy way which is the healthy way okay the weird world of uh nut job wacky veganism all right um like if you start drinking water you can't be drinking that water over there all right you can't be drinking that water over there from a tap all right so you thought you were doing all right by drinking that water over there from a tap and doing your best by hydrating every day by doing it that way all right so you think well, okay I'll go up the, up the ladder a bit and we shall buy some mineral water from the supermarket, right? 50p bottle, pound a bottle. 50p for like 500 milliliters or like, you know, a pound for a litre, whatever it is. Depending on what brand it is, their own brand or some other brand, okay? Um, and somebody say, no, that's not good enough. You've got to be drinking the organic one, right? You're not doing it right, okay? So you start drinking that. And then the mineral water expert will tell you that you're fucking doing it wrong, okay? You've got to be drinking fresh spring water, all right? So you go on the internet and you Google local fresh springs where you live, and there might be one, two, three, four, depending on where you live, man, all right? So you start doing that every week. So you go up there, you fill it up with your plastic bottles, all right? But then some eagle-eyed nut job motherfucker picks you up on that and says, no, you shouldn't be doing that with uh, um, plastic bottles like that because uh, they can leach chemicals into the water, all right? They BPA-free. No, they're not. So then you go out and spend like pounds all right on some bpa free water containers so then you go up there you know marrying along fill your water tubs up again the following week and then some eagle-eyed fucking fairy woo-woo unicorn nut job pick you up on it so they're they're bpa bottles but they still leach water and so um still leach chemicals into your water so you go and buy some glass ones all right spend see what i'm getting at is you got to do your best all right you got to do your best but keep an open mind and research and find out about things all right once i spit um, or dribble rather. Um, so yeah, you start eating apples. Someone will say you shouldn't be eating the, these apples. You should be eating those apples. You shouldn't have conventional apples. You should be eating the organic apples. You shouldn't have those bananas from Ecuador. You want those bananas from Colombia, all right? You shouldn't have that rice from India. You want this rice from Africa. You shouldn't have that black rice from uh, India. You want this white rice from fucking Sweden or something, which is produced in a factory, but it's actually a lot better for you, right? Factory produced rice, you know, a lot better for you, okay? Um, don't have vegan cheese. You should have the real cheese. Like, eat raw foods, but have this real cheese with cow's milk on it, because really, you do actually need the calcium from that to help your bones, all right? That's what some people do out there. I know, they're fucking crazy, aren't they? Versus actually just eating raw fruits and vegetables and fuck off these other weirdos, but then have a bit of cooked and a bit... Blah, blah, blah can be a bit of a brain fry man you can see what i'm up against here all you people out there aren't even vegan and watch me on here to see what shit i gotta fucking deal with on the daily all right but been doing it a while now so i know what a lot of people are doing out there um and it's all interesting it is good it is good it's uh it's intellectual it's knowledgeable it's it's just fascinating man what people are doing all right but as my friend Jamie said the other day, or actually today, I think, in a Facebook post, Jamie, Ivy the Polymath, check him out on Bandcamp, man, all right? Um, saying about how health can be, it can kind of take over your life versus just getting up every day, doing whatever it is you do, and not even thinking about it. Rather, rather than, in my opinion, you could call it like psychologically over, like obsessing about what you're actually doing, all right? Because at first... It can be overwhelming, and it can be a little bit too much, all right? But then as you slowly um, delve through all the fucking bullshit, all right? Because there's a lot of out there. Find your path a bit, all right? And the direction you want to go. It can kind of uh, be a bit less cloudy, so to speak, all right? 
but yeah, actually doing it versus not, you know, not thinking about it too much, right? So what you've got to be doing is judging by results and not by theory, all right? How should I put it? I'm not, uh, I'm not the leanest bean in the world, but I will admit, like tonight with my rice, okay, I've got corn, uh, the corn vegan burgers. They're a little bit greasy, a little bit fatty. Now, if you're just like super skinny, you can get away with like the, uh, the odd bit of like fat like that now and again, all right? It's not going to hurt you. But me, back on the coffee, um, not as intense as I used to be, but eating the potato chips. And I do have some greasy chippers now and again. Um, bits of vegan cheese here and there. All this sort of stuff can add up. I know that, man. I know what to fucking do if I need to do it, all right? I do go through these little periods. So salt, sodium, again, like not getting to sleep early, like early nights, hydration, all this kind of stuff, it can all add up, you know. I know where I've been in the past four years. Certain levels of, like, say, fitness and health and how I'm feeling in my head, my mind, like, body or whatever. Uh, I can look back at that and think, where did I go wrong? Where did I go right? And you just push forward to that. So, basically, still fucking vegan since April 2011. So that's a good thing, isn't it? So, again, it's a good experience. It's my journey, it's my experience. Um, so what I'm saying out there is try all sorts of things if you're if you're meat eater man maybe try going paleo or something if you don't know what paleo is it's like you know vegetables starches like potatoes and stuff but like sourcing like your meat from like the most how should i put it the most sustainable um sources available okay i come from a vegan's point of view like you know sustainable meat then you know, okay, it can be, man, it can be like, rather than factory farm shit full of hormones, all right, so do your best with that and try that, and then maybe go on to vegetarianism or something, to veganism, whatever, you've got to understand people, people's positions out there and the sort of perspectives and views they're going to have on looking at a lifestyle like this, all right. So that can only be a good thing to get people involved on the health and fitness lifestyle versus like trying to shove like copious amounts of fruit down people's necks, you know, they're going to be put off put off big time man they're going to be put off by <clears throat> like if people want to go out there and be like really into the activism thing good but that can really really put people off versus what i'm doing and what other people are doing out there just showing them living their lives eating good food being happy um not always man this is like this video now it's like we're on seven minutes 42 but it's just a snippet of my life it's just what i'm feeling and what i'm saying um in this moment you know um <laughs> Don't think because you, you know, you, um, you know, you mix with people in social circles on social media that you know them. You don't unless you've met that person face to face and you spent time with them. Um, you know, it takes time to get to know people, doesn't it? All right. So just carry on with that, man. Just start. But start, man. Motivation. Get some motivation there. I'm giving you some motivation. Give it a go, man. Think about what you're eating. That's, that's the start. Think about what's going in there. All right. Where's it from? Where's your food coming from, okay? Um, if it is processed, pre-packaged stuff, you know? What What is in those ingredients? And I must add that companies are not, they're not obliged to stick every uh, ingredient on the back of that uh, processed packet that you're purchasing, all right? Or organic packet, whatever it might be, all right? So question stuff, look at stuff, analyze stuff, research stuff, Google, man, Google things, talk to other people. You know, if you tried this, you know, do you know much about it? Whatever. Just question stuff. What's going in your gob, man? All right. So over and out. And uh, start. Start tomorrow, man. Start. Oh